Okay, continuing right where we left off. If you're with me last time, we had a little bit of a glitch. It was actually a pretty simple fix. It was a little bit of a typo on mine, and Bash was actually giving me an error message. But since I was clearing the screen so fast, I wasn't seeing it. So let's go back in here to our text, our uh, script, and basically we were trying to t choose exit and exit out of our script, but it wasn't working. And when I cleared out uh, and paused the screen here, I found that uh, it gave me an error. The error was on this line 21. And the problem is we missed a space right here. So let's add a space there, save our script, run it. I'll type in PNU in this case. So we have some Punisher options there. I can type in like four and it'll bring up uh, back to the search here. I'll type in PNU again and I'll type in 9 for exit. It says exiting, clears the screen, and we're back at our command prompt. So everything's working as it should. It was just a little little uh, space that I missed there. Um, OK, so now let's continue. So we have uh, a subject here to display information. Let's um, start actually getting, getting, getting the um, information on uh, that character that we're searching. So we're going to create a temporary file. So to do that, let's create a um, random number. So we'll create a variable right here. We'll call it temp equals, and then inside quotations, we'll do dollar sign, all capital, and it is case sensitive, random. And I've gone over that in the past. That will generate a random number for you. Uh, so now, let's use links again. And since we have our subject, we can now start searching through the subject's um, uh, wiki page. So we'll say, in this case, uh, links source. So in this, this time, we're going to get the source code. We don't want to dump the information. We want to dump the source code. So links source. And then we'll say dollar sign and inside braces URL. That's our variable we created up here at the top. Let's go up right here. So we have that. And then we're going to use that in combination with our subject variable, which we grabbed right here. And so we will get a dollar sign braces and we'll say subject sure to close our quotations there. And um, we will, at this point, dump this information into a temp file. So our temp folder, we'll call it Marvel uh, underscore dollar sign temp. And that is our random number. So the file will be called Marvel underscore random number dot HTML. Uh, so let's run that real quick. We will run our script. I'll do a search once again just for SPI for Spider-Man. I'll grab a Spider-Man here. Let's see. We'll do... Which Spider-Man should we do? We should do... Uh... There's so many of them. Uh, we'll do the Peter Parker number eight. We'll hit enter there. And it brings us back to the search screen, but if we control C to get out of this, we can now uh, cat out our temp folder Marvel, and in this case there's going to only be one Marvel file besides the folder I'm working in. And if we cut that out, you can see all the HTML code. Now if we sort through this and we look at the code, we can either look at it in there or Firefox has a nice option if we go to Peter Parker here. We can start highlighting stuff and then we can say right click and say view selection source. And let's just look at where this starts, that selection, because we don't care about everything at the header of the page, the footer of the page, or the sidebar. We just want the main article. Otherwise, we're going to be really cluttered because there's already a lot of information on each character. And you'll notice that from what I highlighted, the first tag is called article, and it says ID wiki main content, and the class is wiki uh, main content. So we're actually going to take that information right there, and we're going to search for everything between that and the final tag, which is the end of the article tag. So um, let's go back into our script here.
And instead of saving the entire page, we're going to pipe into said. We're going to say dash n forward slash, and then we'll paste in that information of that first tag. Uh, and then we will do a forward slash comma, another forward slash uh, greater than symbol. We're starting a tag. We're going to have to do a backslash forward slash here uh, to signify that we're basically commenting out the next forward slash, that it isn't a special character, it's a regular character. And once again, I go over all this sort of stuff in detail in previous tutorials. That's why I'm just touching on it here. And then we'll do forward slash p single quote. And what that will do, we'll save that. And let's really quick, let's delete our temp file that we've already created so that we know which one's which. So we'll remove that file. We'll run our script. And we'll do a search once again for SPI for Spider-Man. We already know that Peter Parker is number eight. Let's control C to exit out of this. Now, if we, we'll just head out the uh, temp Marvel temp file that we created. You can see that it has a different random number this time around. We'll hit enter and you can see that this time instead of starting at the very top of the page, it started at the uh, main portion of the article. And if we tail out that file, you can see that it ends on the line that contains our article tag closing, main content ending. Uh, so that right there allows us to view just the character information, not the header of the page or the footer of the page or the sidebar or any advertisements within that. Um, so now I'm going back into our script file here. Now that we've created that temp file, instead of echoing out subject, we don't need that anymore. What we're going to do is we'll just use links again, and this time with no switches. We're just going to view it inside links. And we'll say forward slash temp, forward slash marvel, underscore dollar sign temp, which is our random number saved into a variable. We can put these inside quotations, I think. And uh, let's quit, run our script, we'll do SPI again, I'll choose 8 for Peter Parker, and boom, it opens up all the information on that character without, uh, like I said, any of the headers, sidebars, or footers. So that's great, we can scroll through here and see all the information on this character, uh, and where he's been, what he's done, where he works. And uh, at any point we can hit Q and hit enter to quit out of that. Let's control C to get out of this. And uh, now let's just add a little bit more basically to grab the images from the page. So let's go back down here to Peter Parker. You can see there's a lot of Peter Parker Spider-Man images. We want to be able to see all those. Uh, now there is a links to that allows for graphical images to be viewed inside links, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use display, which is part of the image magic package, which is uh, I've gone over in the past a number of times. It is uh, installed by default on most distros. Um, if not, it's going to definitely be in your repository. So let's edit our script. We're only going to add just a few more lines here, and we're going to be done. So let me look at my notes real quick. Okay. <laughs> We've downloaded, created our temp file. Now that we've done that, we can search through that for images using links, dump, and we don't have to worry about any images that are in the headers, footers, or advertisements in the sidebar. So once again, we're going to dump the content of our uh, temp file, underscore dollar sign temp, up dot html, and we will once again use awk to search through this. We're going to search for JPEG and HTTP because it's going to search for all links that contain JPEG in it. And then we're going to say print dollar sign two, which will print the second column, which is the link to the image. And then we'll say 
while read JPEG. And we're going to have a while loop here. We're going to say do, and we're going to do everything in between this do and this done. And all we're going to say is display our JPEG variable, which we just created right here. And I think I forgot to close. Everything's red, so I can see that I forgot a single quote there. There we go. Looking better. Okay, display that image. And display will automatically, not, it's not grabbing it from your hard drive, it's going to grab it from the website. Um, and we're going to say end so that it continues. And we'll just say echo loading dollar sign JPEG, and that will just give some user output on the screen. Um, but this will allow all images to display on the screen. Let's do that real quick. We'll save this, run this. SPI, I'll choose eight, and loads up this file, and boom, 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 boom. You can see all our images of Spider Man and Peter Parker from that page loading up. There are a whole lot. This is where uh, Compiz, if you use the Compiz 3D uh, environment scaling feature, comes in handy. We can hit Alt A, sorry, Alt A, Windows A by default, although it may be different on your system, and view all those images very nicely. I can zoom in on any one of them. And I'll go back to my main screen here. I'll hit Q and enter to get out of links. But you can see that all these images are still open. So we need to add into our script to basically uh, close all those. So if we do kill all display, it will do kill all display applications. Boom. There you go. They are all killed. So we'll add that into our script. So, oops. Vim uh, let's see we're gonna do that right here we're gonna say kill all display and guess what I think we're done with our script oh I was gonna add one more thing let's quickly look at the script Marvel we'll do SPI again we'll pick 8 for Peter Parker and you can see it loads all those images. I can go back to our original window here. They're still loading. <laughs> I'll hit Q for quit, enter, and when we exit out of that character's information, it also closes all the images. Uh, one more tutorial coming at you to finish this off. And I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. There's a link in the description to this source code that you can download and play with. And I hope that you have a great day.